papaya is very useful plant. When it ripe, it's very good fruit, very sweet, yummy. When it's young, we can cook into many dishes. And we can also use papaya for medicine. We can use for many kinds of sickness. It's very interesting to grow papaya. Papaya salad is one of the most famous dish in Thailand. It helps you to feel fresh in the hot and drowsy day. And because of the spicy taste and sour, it's so good. To make papaya salad is very easy. You can prepare it in 15 minutes. It's fast. The first thing is we need to get the green papaya. Or almost ripe papaya is also good. People, some people love it when almost ripe. We peel off the green skin of papaya because the green part of it make it bitter. If there's no green part, it will not be bitter at all. After finish peeling off the skin, the green skin, uh, we, we chop it, chop very close together. We want to cut it and make it into long, thin strip. It will be very thin like a noodle, but not that long. Then we need chilies. It can be fresh or dry chilies. It's okay. And garlic. Any kind of garlic. But the small garlic it tastes stronger and better than the big giant garlic. We need lime and tomato. Or sometimes we can use tamarind or some anything sour is okay. We can use them. The last thing that we need is fish sauce. Any kind of fish sauce. If you're vegetarian, you can use soy sauce. Also good too. We start with chilies and garlic. We smash chilies and garlic in the mortar. Make it very fine. If you like spicy, you can add more chili as you want. Garlic is quite strong taste. If you like it, you can add more too. It does matter. After that, we just cut tomatoes in there. Add tomatoes quite a lot, maybe at least three or four of them, because tomato make taste very good. Then we add lime juice to make it sour. Lime juice or tamarind, sour tamarinds, is okay, it's good too. Or any sour fruit, we can use it. After that, we add some uh, fish sauce or any kind of fish sauce or soy sauce is okay too. But sometimes we love local fish sauce like this that we make it ourselves. It tastes better. After we put everything together, just mix them together. Smash them a little bit to press the juice of tomato to release the flavor of tomato a little bit and then we just add the papaya in there then mix everything together very well and then while we mix together it's good to try to smash more tomato because the tomato make it taste like a MSG make it taste a little bit sweet and sour after it mix well we need to test it first do we like it or not the good taste is sour, spicy, and salty. Make these three tastes balanced. That's the taste of papaya salad. But many people lately, they love to add sugar in there, especially coconut sugar or palm sugar. They add in there. So people eat more sweet now, but original taste, there's no sugar in there. This is papaya salad that will make you awake immediately when you're sleepy. It's very good. If you like to eat papaya and if you live in a tropical countries, I think it's worth it to grow one or two papaya trees at home. It's very easy. Just get a plastic bag like this filled up with dirt and put one seed of papaya in there, water, 
every day. In one month, papaya are going to sprout and then they grow up this big and then we can transplant them. Digging a small hole and then add some compost in there to help them grow faster. Compost is very useful because they grow faster than normal. Then we just put papaya tree in the compost like this and cover it. That's all. Then water very wet at the first time to make sure that the water go deep to the root of the papaya. After that, we can put straw to cover it, mulch over it. They will grow easily after that. If we have good papaya, we want to propagate them more. Or sometimes you don't want to buy the expensive seed. You just cut them and let them have a branches come out like this. Then we can do air layering to propagate them more from the old trees. This is very easy technique. Normally when we have the branch came out like this, we just cut into the branch, make it slope up a little bit like a 45 degrees. We cut about two thirds of the stem, almost cut but not totally cut. That's the side we want to cut. Now you can see we can open it like this. Then we can put dry stick like this to separate where we cut them. We don't want them to be uh, touched together again because if, they, if that part where we cut it touch each other, they're going to attach together again. So we don't want that. That's why we need to put some dry stick uh, to keep them break far apart like this. Then we can use dirt, good dirt or compost or coconut husk that we soak in the water for a long time with plastic like this and wrap around where we cut it and put the dirt wrap around the cut very well. Then we tie them very well. It is easier to tie the bottom first. Normally I use bamboo strip as a string to tie them like this. Tie the bottom first. Make it very tight so the water will not leak out much. And then I mean the, the moisture inside will not leak out so much. It will stay inside longer. If it's too dry, it's not good. The root will not sprout. But if it have enough moisture, the root will sprout fast. Normally it takes about 15 days. After we tie them very well like this, you can see the white root. This is how the root look like. This is after 15 days. Normally, if you're not more than one month, you will see white roots like this. We use machetes or knife to chop them off like this. We cut most of the branches or the big leaves off. We don't want to have many big leaves there because it will release too much water. And then unwrap the plastic. If the stem too long, it's good to chop it off because we don't want the long stem to stuck on the bottom of the pot. So we can bury in the pot easily when it's shot like this. After we uh, bury them in the pot, let them, we nurse them in the pot for a while, maybe a month or something like that to let the new leaf come out so the root will spread out more. If we keep in the pot first, the root will be stronger. When we transplant them, they will go, grow better. 
Some of them maybe have very little root like this, but it's okay. They will not die. They will grow as normal. So don't worry. Don't throw it away. They will grow back. So it's good to keep them in the pot and then keep the pot in the shade first for at least one or two weeks. Don't put in the sun because they will lose a lot of water. They can wilt it. If we keep in the shade and water them every day, then the root will grow fast after that. Then we can transplant them to the right place where we want to plant them. After we nurse them for a month, the root will grow well under in the pot. Then we need to prepare the place to grow them permanently. It's good to grow in the concrete ring like this. Just add a lot of leaves or compost or anything in the concrete rings. And then when we plant in the concrete rings, they will grow very well. And then the fruit will come out easily because we do, did lay uh, air layering. So they will have fruit faster than we grow from seed, a lot faster. And the fruit will be very low, close to the ground. So it's easy to harvest them. This technique is quite fun to do, to have very short papaya tree in the concrete ring next to our house. So it's fun to grow papaya in this way. So just drop in there, yeah, and cover with soil, with the dirt. After that, just water them. They grow fast with this technique. I think many people who have too tall papaya, you can cut them down and let them have new shoots sprout around the old stem. And then we can do air layering around the new branches. And then we can propagate them more this way. With this technique, we can keep the same quality of fruit because they will not change the quality much like, a from, like we grow from seed. This technique, they grow fast and then make it shorter than normal. After we cover with the dirt very well, water very wet the first time, maybe five or six watering can at least like this. Because if we add a lot of dry leaves under it, it's good to make the layer of dirt quite thick because if we don't have enough thick dirt in there, the root will get hurt from the heat that created by the decomposing process from the dry leaves under it. Normally, if we not hurry, we can let the leaves decompose first and we can plant them. That will be good too. But this is the easiest way, lazy way. We normally don't like the short papaya like this we consider white papaya so we don't like it much because it's too hollow but we love the long one like this this is the side of the papaya that we like to have it we need to select papaya sometime when we grow papaya we can when we, they start to have flowers we can see which one is big which one is long or short this one is the flower of the short papaya if we see short papaya like this, we will cut them off. We don't like it. If the flowers very long like this, that means it's going to be the long papaya, not the short one. So we will, if we see the tree with this higher flower, we will save them. So this, this long flowers. The long one, it needs to be the flower that can be female. The, long, the big one will be female, the small one will be uh, male flowers. Papaya have male and female flowers in the same tree. The female one will be very fat like this. And then the male one will be very thin like this. So we can see it quite clear. 
this papaya tree have very short fruit we don't like it so we're going to chop it off if we don't chop it off the flowers going to pollinate with another trees so we don't want to have that this is the way we select the kind of papaya that we want the shape that we want so this part we don't want it we just chop them into a compost how to save papaya seed we need to select the shape of the papaya that we like first and then we cut them cut them off and then scrape only the seeds from the papaya take the seed off when we got the seed we add a lot of water in there and let it ferment at least four weeks or one month after that it will the jelly wrap around will be decomposed after it decomposed we can stir it let the good seed sink to the bottom and pour the whatever floating out clean it like this many times until it no smell and then dry it them in the shade then we will get very good dry seed like this this is papaya seed that we can keep it for a long time papaya is fun to grow and is fun to eat